Welcome to week three of my weigh-ins. I'm going to do a shorter video this week. Last week kind of got carried away with rambling, so I'll try to keep this uh, focused. You know, that was one of the... Sorry, one second. <clears throat> one of the, the, the complaints last week was that it was a, too long of a video, so we'll keep it focused this week. Uh, first, I want to start off by saying that I lost nine pounds this week, but I, I definitely struggled. It was it was a hard week physically for me. So let's start off with the diet. <clears throat> uh, for this past week, I stuck with a 2,900 calorie a day diet. Tracking that, I to track that I weighed that weighed every meal, and then tracked on my fitness pal. You know, 2,900 seems like a lot of calories, but if you're not paying careful attention, if you're not weighing everything, you really can eat that many calories rather quickly. Uh, an example of that, this week I went out for the first time since I've been here. And, you know, old habits kick in. You know, you don't realize it in the moment, but I actually ended up ordering, <laughs> I ordered uh, two subs from a place called Groucho's. It's a, it's a deli. And I had two subs, and I had peanut M&M's. And over, you know, a half hour period, I ate it, you know, I ate 2,700 calories. Without even realizing it. Without, you know, without tracking it until later. <laughs> you know, it really is important. You know, the discipline to not eat too much. And planning, especially when you're going out to eat, you need to plan before you go. Otherwise, you set yourself up to fail. It's incredibly hard. So, now, fortunately, I was, you know, through through willpower, I was able to come in under my calorie goal that day. Uh, I actually fasted for 24 hours after, after I ate that. You know, you can say what you want about fasting for 24 hours. You can say it's not healthy. You can say that's not the right way to go about it. It's more or less a mental thing for me than anything else. I think it's important. You have a goal. You want to stay under that goal, you stay under that goal. I made the unhealthy choice to eat 2,700 calories in a half hour. So I paid the price. You know, responsibility is is an important thing in this, in this journey. Okay. I also want to talk about the importance of home cooking. Uh, you know, it was a big thing when I came here to really, really take over and uh, learn to cook and focus on cooking you know because you can control what you eat you can control what you cook and prepare for yourself and if you only cook certain things you're limited you don't have a hundred choices if you go to a restaurant to to help you wafer and i think that's been a really big as far as planning goes really big thing for sticking on my diet i was i was very good on my diet this week i you know i was under my calorie goal every day you know, and that has a lot to do with, with the cooking. You know, with the embracing the, <clears throat> the the new. Uh, what am I trying to say? The new uh, recipes. Uh, you know, I made my own low sodium hot sauce this week, uh, habanero sauce. You know, I made chicken about eight different ways this week. Uh, you know, so I. It's important for accountability. It's important for the ability, and you want to set yourself up to. To be successful. This week was extremely tough for me, exercise-wise. Uh, I've been doing really well since I've, I've been here. You know, I'm I'm really big on increasing my volume, focus on increasing my volume of whatever I've been doing every single day. More steps, more body squats. You know, I have a oh, I have a kettlebell here, and I've been doing kettlebell exercises. Uh, you know, kettlebell, kettlebell swings and rows and and curls and you know I've you know I've added them in with my body squats and I've been going hard at it. You know, uh, every single day, add a few here. You know, add a add a few more and you know eventually you know if, if anybody's ever used a kettlebell, that it's no joke. It's uh it's hardcore and at, at some point I hit a wall this week. You know, I went I went. I had extra energy and I went harder with the kettlebell swings. And if you don't know what they are, you know, feel free to look them up. But as somebody who spent the last 20 years or so 
inactive, not doing a lot of exercise, you know, it's it's a shock to the system. And you know, at that point, I uh, I couldn't recover the next day. I could barely move the next day. In fact, I don't even think I hit my steps for the next day. So I took a couple of days off from the from the exercising. I still walked. I got my my steps in. Um, but I need to take a couple of days off from the lifting, you know, which is fine. You know, if your body's hurting, you have to do it. I think that the hardest part is making sure that the two days don't turn into ten. You know, and ultimately then you get off for a month or three months. I think that's been my biggest issue for as long as I can remember. And that's something I really need to guard against. Oh, exercise. Ordered my bike. Uh... I've decided to use my bike as a reward for when I get to 450 pounds. You know, it's it's a ways off yet, you know, but it, it serves a couple purposes. One, it's a reward, but two, it's sort of like a step system for me. You know, that's the next step for me. You know, I want to continue increasing my physical activity every single day. You know, steps, the kettlebell work, the body, the body exercises, and you know, next step will be riding my bike. Uh, now, maybe I'll do a video on my bike this week. I, you know, it's a special bike made for people my size. It's, uh, I like it. I like it. And I'm looking forward to using it. Terrified of it, you know, but I think that's the next step for me. And it's a ways off. You'll see, you'll see my, my current weight at the end of the video. It's a ways off, but that's, you know, that's my next goal. That's what I'm focusing on. So what was my frame of mind this week? You know, it was disheartening to be so sore that I couldn't get my, my full exercises in. I've been going along really, really, really well. Getting everything done daily, being really strict with the diet. I'm very, very happy with that. And it was, it was, it was hard to take a couple days off, but there was nothing I could do. You know, I tried to do, I do a kettlebell rows and uh, I got through three and I was like, I'm done. You know, I, I couldn't do it. So we it took a couple days off and we got back to it. Uh, I am, I'm happy that I didn't let that affect my diet. Uh, you know, as I said, you know, I was on, I was on point with my diet all week. I was under calories all week. In fact, actually for this upcoming week, I'm going to lower my calories even more to uh, 2,500 and I'll just try to eat more lean. So... I, I didn't even have trouble staying under. The only day I had trouble with staying under on my diet was, you know, the day, uh, two subs and uh, peanut M&Ms, you know. But even then, I call that a success because I stayed under for the day. And, and I learned my lesson about, you know, knowing what you put into your body. Um, another takeaway, you know, when we go out, we plan better. We... We look up the menus online. We know how many calories are in the foods. It's surprising. I, I hadn't expected there to be 1,800 calories in the, in the food that I ate in the two subs. You know, that was a shock to me. So, so that's going to be my, my plan for the upcoming week. Uh, I will have the review for my scale that will be coming out Wednesday. Uh, you know, if you're a bigger person and you don't have a home scale, you know, this is an affordable scale. Uh, I'll talk about the good and the bad and then, you know, make up your own mind, you know. I know a lot of people are put off because they see a lot of versions of these scales out there that are into the thousands of dollars. And, and, and this is an affordable scale, so we'll, we'll discuss that Wednesday. And then next week I have a, a chair made for bigger people that I'm going to do a review on as well. In addition to my, my weekly weigh-in. So, thanks for watching.